This is Valley News Live at 9 on Fargo CW. Thanks for joining us tonight here at 9. I'm Sydney Zatz. We began recently the site of an officer involved shooting has reopened. And tonight we are hearing more about the Karen Share shelter from our Anna Ball Weber. It's definitely a healing process. A community in healing after a man was shot and killed by police at the Karen Share homeless shelter. Body camera footage shows officers using less than lethal means before firing a handgun, killing Christopher Junkin. It's a hard time, and so we want to offer our support for them as well. Offering their support following the shooting, Trinity Lutheran Church and several others teamed up to transform the shelter, hopefully leaving some of the past behind. It's a clear way of how to help in the healing so that those spaces could look different and feel different for when they returned, and we thought, we can do this. In just three days, community members painted walls, rearranged furniture, and upgraded living spaces. But it was much more than that. They're not walking into what is like the same building in which the incident happened, but rather it's a refresh, it's well warm, it's welcoming, it's uh, a place where they will again feel safe. And feeling safe is a top priority. Isaacson says this incident uncovers a bigger picture. We as a Crookston community are, are dealing with mental health crisis right now, and I know a number of communities that are in the same spot as we are. In that spot and willing to do whatever it takes to help that crisis, the church says the shelter transformation serves as a reminder what we're capable of when communities come together. Just remember the care and share, whether it's, you know, in your prayers or through your actions. In Crookston, Anna Ball Weber, Valley News Live. Transitioning guests were able to see their new space today and new guests are coming to Karen Share on the 22nd.